Hi everyone, this is Arpad from StarPath Academy. And today I want to mention something that I said before in an interview or after an interview was that uh, gold-backed crypto. What's up with that? Um, and what is its use case? So if you're really interested in my uh, full video, then uh, feel free to go and follow the link. And if you're a member on Patreon, or buy me a coffee, then uh, you can see the full video where I kind of detail in many cases. But I just want to give you a brief intro of um, gold, pure crypto, and gold back crypto. So I think all of these have three different the, the three have three different best use cases for them, worst use cases for them, and all of them in between. And with gold back crypto, you're basically getting the will the worst of both and sometimes the best of both but that doesn't always mean that it's best in every case but it has some cases where it's good right and it's good when you need to flee a country with crypto but you want the stability of gold so let's say you're in a smaller country that you want to flee right and it's much easier to move crypto than gold or cash or anything like that. So you would have that converted into gold back crypto, flee the country, and then after, um, as soon as you get out, you can uh, convert it back, right? So that is a very good use case for it. But it has some horrible use cases, right? In a full grid down situation, it's one of the worst situations, it's one of the worst assets that you can have, right? Uh, you might actually have uh, crypto still working, but gold back crypto might not be working because now the custodian right, is uh, out of business or it has been taken over by government and so far. So there's many cases for it. Um, so I will uh, have a link to a full video in the description uh, for members uh, where I describe uh, the um, three different scenarios for the three different assets. And uh, please follow that and uh, follow the channel as well.